Hey everyone, the NBA news is coming in really fast tonight and I need to rebuild a bunch of lineups on DraftKings. I'm going to show you how to do some of the advanced features within Manage Entries. We're going to start out by adding Jimmy Butler to our player pool now that I know that he's playing. I also need to go remove somebody from my list, so I need to go find Josh Okogie and get him out of here because now he's out. I need to remove any locks for players I may already have in lineups so that I can rebuild all of my entries. I've already done that. So in Manage Entries, I'm going to download my CSV file for the slate and pull it into the Upload Here area. Now I've got my lineups. So you can select or deselect all lineups by clicking and unchecking this box. Now it's not going to rebuild anything, but I can individually select which lineups I wish to rebuild, and it will rebuild all of those entries. That's one way of doing things. Also, I can click on the magnifying glass next to the entries. This, I have 11 entries. I have some tournament lineups and a cash lineup. I don't want to rebuild my cash lineup. I just want to click on these tournament entries and rebuild them because I've been waiting on news. All right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to get five additional lineups here. It's going to leave this lineup the same, and it's going to give me my new lineups. I'm going to go rebuild my lineups, and now I'm going to get 11 entries instead of the six different lineups that I have set up. All right, so now I've got 11 new lineups here, and when I go export them to CSV, I will have a completely new list with the entries it's in. So here are my four-point plays, and I need to just go edit those entries onto DraftKings. I've got my file. I'm ready to go. I can go rebuild entries now using the select options in Manage Entries. Till next time, this has been Nicole Valencia for the Lineup HQ 2-Minute Drill.